Now, before leaving this getting started section, let me give you eight quick considerations on how to actually take this course. And I promise that they are super short and super important. So please, please don't skip this video. It will set you up for success with this course. So to start, chances are that this is your very first contact with writing code. And so please don't get overwhelmed. I have literally seen tens of thousands of students going through this course or one of my other courses. And I can tell you that it's 100% normal that in the beginning, you will not really understand everything. So just keep going through these first few sections, even if you don't understand 100% at first. You will very soon, believe me, that's just normal. Just don't think something like, I guess coding is not for me. So that thought is simply not allowed here. Also keep in mind that everyone has different learning speeds and so you will get there eventually. Just keep following the course and keep practicing as much as you can. Now about actually taking the course, you always, always need to code along with me. And this is absolutely fundamental. You will learn exactly zero HTML and CSS skills by simply sitting there and watching me code. So you really have to actually write the code yourself, even if you're just typing the exact same words as I am typing basically in the video. But it really doesn't matter. As long as you're coding, the code is getting into your brain and you're learning. And so that's all that matters. If you want the course material to stick in your brain even better, then take notes. So notes on code syntax, notes on theory concepts, and really notes on everything. You can't take too many notes. Now everyone has their own style, so just find your own one. Next, try all the coding challenges that I present you. Try to do the best that you can, but if you get stuck for too long for some reason, just go ahead and watch the solution. So again, you have to try the coding challenges. Otherwise, you will miss a lot of the learning opportunity here. And also, don't beat yourself up if you can't figure out the solution. Again, this is completely normal, especially if you're just a beginner, trust me. So if that happens, just rewatch the lectures that were covered in that challenge, try to understand them a bit better, and then move on. Now, the sections in the course build on one another. And so before moving on from a section to the next one, really make sure that you understand exactly what was covered in that section. So take a break, review the code that we wrote, review your notes, and also review the projects that we built in that section, uh, if there was any. You should even try to come up with your own examples and write some code on your own in order to practice. And only then you are really ready to move on to the next section. Now, if you have a question or an error in your code, always start by trying to solve the error by yourself. This is absolutely essential for your progress and your learning journey, because one of the main things that a developer has to do is to find and fix errors, or bugs, as we also call them. Now, if you can't solve the problem, then go ahead and check out the Q&A section here on Udemy, because probably someone else already had the same problem before. If that also doesn't help, then of course you can ask a new question. To do that, use a short description, post your code on codepen.io and share the link in the Q&A. So don't just paste a wall of code into the Q&A, but instead please use a service uh, such as codepen.io. Next, I just wanted to quickly mention that I recorded this course on a Mac but everything is going to work the exact same way on Windows or on Linux. 
So if something doesn't work on your computer, it's not because you're using a different operating system, okay? And now, finally, and you could say even most importantly, have fun while doing this course. Coding is a lot of fun, and it's so rewarding to see something that you have built yourself. So if for some reason you're feeling frustrated, then just stop whatever you're doing and come back later. So again, you always need to have fun while coding. And with all this being said, let's now finally get started.